before you started the golf company, Roger, what did you do? You, what was well, when I first started out at a college, I actually worked for a aerospace uh, uh, McDonnell Douglas in a, a commercial uh, area uh, in Long Beach, and then I did that, and I I traveled around. I went and tried professional golf for a couple of years, and then got back into uh, you know different different. Uh, uh, I was in the accounting in an office at Dun and Bradstreet. I did accounting manager, doing some stuff, and then I. I did all kinds of different things and uh, got into sales and uh, to computers and but I always loved golf and I just gravitated back and that's when I wanted to replicate uh, Bobby Jones's putter the Calamity Jane did so and, and uh, went to the PGA show and that's where we picked up and made some woods from there and then wedges and and the first wedge was the 485 which was which was the fourth iron set and it was, uh, it was uh, designed in 1985, or so, or introduced in '85. And the next one, the 588, was the fifth generation, and, and introduced in 1988. What's the best decision you've ever made? Uh, starting, starting Cleveland Golf, because it was started with, you know, no capital. It was just myself and my father was helping me. Uh, and we, we started with putters and then we started doing woods and it grew and grew and it was uh, trying to trying to make payrolls and things like that I mean there were some tough times so you you go through a lot of different uh, types of uh, emotions you know you know starting a company growing a company and you have to wear a lot of hats some of the hats don't fit what's the worst decision you've made <laughs> Getting married to my first wife, which I divorced, is the worst decision I've ever made. Was it a real culture shock being your own boss to then becoming an employee elsewhere? Uh, it was. It was. I mean, in the in the same company because I sold the company and then I, I continued to work for five years. Uh, that was that was different. I understood it was going to be different. I did that because I wanted I wanted to build the infrastructure of the company. Uh, it was it wasn't my choice to leave the company, um, but uh, uh, I, I did it to uh, to really generate some uh, structure for infrastructure for R and D and and, and uh, marketing and so forth because we had great products but just nobody knew about them. But also, you now work. You've worked for Callaway for a long time now. It's 20 years. And then your name, your business, the business with your name is still in the market. So that I think that's more what I was referring to, working for a different company. Well, that's that, that's once in a while that's strange, you know. But uh, it's it's uh, I, I want them to succeed. It must give you a sense of pride. To be no, it does. It does. does. It does. Um, I thought the, the company has been badly mismanaged for a, a number of years. Uh, it is better managed now, but they, their their direction, I think, uh, they're in good hands with with uh, Dunlop, Sumitomo Rubber. I think I've improved uh, on some, you know, sole geometries for wedges and, and uh, understood that pretty well and worked worked with the players and and uh, got a chance to learn from them and give them what they want. So I would say looking from the outside though, Roger, that you changed how people looked at the, sh the short game with the clubs they use and well, I, I, popularize the lob wedge. I tell you, Daniel, I, I'm mo doing more now to recognize that and to, to express that with people and to teach. I'm doing more teaching now than, I, than, than designing. And I'm trying to tell people that the short game is, is you know, extremely important, as everybody knows. But it's a different type of stroke than your big game, and it's totally different. And it's it's a lot easier than what people might think if they understand it. And so that's what I'm doing. And they understand also how to use the wedge properly. Um, so it's good. What club are you most proud of that you've designed? Because you've designed them a lot, and been involved in a lot of clubs. I got I got most of them, you know, one of one of them or some of them. It's, it's, um, 
Well, certainly the, the, the first wedge that really was uh, popular, the 588 uh, at Cleveland, was yeah, comes to mind. There's uh, actually the first iron, the first project that I did at Callaway was, was an iron project that Dick Helmstetter asked me to do, and, and, uh, and it was the Galdi X-12. So I, I was pretty responsible with a, a gentleman by the name of Tom Hilton uh, to design that iron. And we actually had, we had variable face technology in that iron. So we actually were doing some compliance, you know, building a little bit hotter face before we even knew it. But that we wanted to move weight and save weight from the face. And um, that's why that design was was what it was on the X12. If you remember, it was a great iron, and then the X14 sold great, and and uh, so on. So, I would say that, and and uh, the, so the wedges that we've done recently. I, I love the PM wedge and the MD3, the new ones. Um, I'm pretty proud of those. And it, to collaborate with with Phil on uh, on his wedge was was a kick because he's. He's a ball of energy, that man, and it's fun. Tell us what it's like to, to work with Phil then, exactly. So, how does a normal day work? Or it well, a normal day, it's, it's, it's minutes in the day, um, but it's, it's uh, he's, uh, he, he is probably the most, well, not probably, he is the most talented person in the short game that I've ever come, come across. Um, and to, uh, to get that that wedge in his hand and, and take the competitor's wedge out of, of his bag was was, was fun to do because he's he's a company company guy he loves Callaway and he was using a competitor's wedge because of a, a technical reason <clears throat> we got that down and so we we made him one we fabricated we took two wedges cut them apart welded them together took a sharpie I ground the, the shape in took the weight out that I added. And uh, took it to the PGA show, our PGA Championship at Valhalla, for Phil to just look at. It. Well, he looked at it. He used it. He used that exact wedge, and almost won. McElroy and, and Ricky were were right. Uh, I mean, McElroy won. But anyway, so that's how that club got introduced. But it was really fun to do that.